Happy holidays, everyone. I am Kevin, also known as Two Socks, and I'm the owner of Two Socks Productions. I have a few updates that I would like to share with you guys today just to keep you guys informed on what's going on over here. So the very first thing that I have to mention is that I personally have a YouTube channel now. And it's taken me a while to kind of break down and do this, but I know that uh, many people have been asking to kind of see the personal side of my life and also like behind the scenes on my business. So I've recorded like 26 videos on my personal YouTube channel. Uh, the link is in the comment section and in the description box if you wanna check it out. But don't just look at it, actually subscribe to that channel because I will be uh, posting this video that's gonna be very, very unique either next week or the week after. So make sure you have post notifications on as well as that notification bell is enabled, okay? On my personal YouTube channel, I actually show behind the scenes content of me filming certain videos with Just Cheer, with uh, Virginia Union University, with Five Star Cheer, and much more. I show you guys some of my business income, some of my business expenses, and how I think through those things. I talk to you guys about all of my other streams of revenue as well. I show you guys a little bit about my romantic side of my life um, and just kind of let you in on this, this mystery girl that I have that, you know, that treats me so good. So if you want to see all that stuff, make sure you subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. That's the only place it's going to be at. All right. So moving on to the second topic, I have my little cheat sheet here. Second topic I have is Two Socks Productions. So we haven't really been posting lately on this YouTube channel because we are in the holiday season all right so thanksgiving break has happened then we also have christmas break coming up and so a lot of cheerleaders are preparing for like their final exams if they're in college or you know they're out on break and stuff so a lot of cheer teams are canceling practices and cheerleaders are going home for the breaks and stuff okay so because of that we're not really recording much content right now just want to let you guys know that and be fully transparent but hopefully it makes sense because we've all been in school before or we're in school right now so we should understand but i'd say we'll get right back into the groove in january and that's when we're going to kick in into full throttle, all right? It'll be competition season. You'll finally get to see the hard work that these cheerleaders have been putting in, and they'll be able to display their talents on these competition mats and at these showcases. So January, expect for us to be back full throttle with our uploads. I'm not saying that we won't upload at all during the month of, of December, but it will be very sporadic. It won't be consistently uploading like it always is every three days. Uh, going into the next topic, we have three YouTube channels. I'm not sure if you guys knew this or not, but we have Two Socks Productions, which is this channel. We have Two Socks Productions 2, and we have Two Socks Productions 3. Okay, let me break down what the differences between these three channels are. Two Socks Productions is this channel. It's for our core teams, Just Cheer Elite and CUC. The reality is those are the two most popular teams, and a lot of our loyal and older subscribers have subscribed because they want to see those two teams. They don't really care about the newer teams and everything else that's going on with Two Socks Productions, which is completely fine. So that's why I moved all that other content off of this channel to their own separate channels. Two Socks Productions 2 consists of our two collegiate teams, which is Five Star Cheer and Virginia Union University. And I just thought that would be a great way to pair collegiate teams to have a collegiate channel, okay? For people who wanna see like older cheerleaders as opposed to like five-year-olds to 18-year-olds. If you wanna see like collegiate age cheerleaders, Two Socks Productions 2 is for you. And if you wanna see any of the events that Two Socks Productions is hired to like film for and stuff, um, then that would be on Two Socks Productions 3. So all cheer competitions, uh, the cheer combine we do every year with uh, CAO Elite and all the other showcases and stuff that we film, camps and all of that. If you wanna see those things, that's on Two Socks Productions 3. The last topic I wanna discuss is memberships. So I wanna inform you guys that we do not have a set upload schedule for membership uploads, okay? I know that we have a set upload schedule generally for our YouTube channels, but the videos come in at any given time. I have employees that film and produce content for me and they submit it to me. But if they submit videos, let's say seven days from now, 
that's when you'll get the upload and you'll be able to see it. So as soon as they send it to me and I download it from Google Drive and I upload it to YouTube and I upload it to the website, it'll be active then. So if they send it at 3 a.m., you get the video at 3 a.m. It's not like 4 p.m. every three days like it is on our YouTube channel. So I just wanna let you guys know that. I get the videos to you as soon as I get them in, okay? I wish we could have a set schedule, but life be life in for my team members. And, you know, just like everybody, you know, they have things going on and stuff and they can't always submit the videos at a certain time or on a certain day or whatever. So um, just give us grace in that area. Just wanted to let you guys know that in full transparency. If you guys had any other questions that I may not have covered, make sure you put them in the comment section. But the biggest thing that I want to say to you guys is check out my personal YouTube channel in the comment section it's pinned at the top just click on it and actually subscribe to it and watch some of those videos because i think this is really going to be very insightful for a lot of you guys you get to finally see the camera equipment that i'm using you get to see the my new home you get to see my business expenses some of my business uh income and like how i interact with my employees and stuff so if you're interested in all that stuff like please go subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments over there too so I did something really fun and it's currently going on right now. I did a live stream on this YouTube channel to ask for questions that I can answer on this pre-recorded video, okay? So they're currently staring at me right now on the live stream, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer the questions that they asked me. So if you don't wanna stay for the Q&A, that's perfectly fine. Just go subscribe to my personal YouTube channel and I'll see you later. But if you are interested in hearing the answers to all 13 of these questions, stick around so question number one is from my all-time favorite youtube subscriber twin nation twin nation asked what do you use when deciding on angles to show equipment wise so i wish i could give you like a very nice answer uh twin nation to this question but the reality is i use what i got so i don't really buy new equipment to get different camera angles it's the canon rf uh, 24 to 70 2.8 L series uh, lens that I use and then I use a Canon R6 to film our videos and I pretty much give my team members a Canon R6 and a stabilizer and a microphone and like a kit lens basically and a very basic lens it's not very expensive like $300 or something and they go and film in the field whenever they go to cheer practices and stuff so we don't really buy more equipment to get different angles or anything. I hope that answers your question. And I wish I could tell you some special technical stuff, but we just, we not there yet. <laughs> all right, uh, second question is from Jennifer. Jennifer, all right. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you for this question. She asked, what motivated you to open this channel? So I just wanna tell you guys like a little backstory about Two Socks Productions. I'm sure many of you have heard this, but some of you may not have heard this before. And it's the story behind how I got started. So when I was in college, I dated Coach Tia from Just Cheer Elite. And Coach Tia's mom is Coach T, and she was the coach for Dudley High School. And so Coach T and Coach Tia basically asked me to take pictures of the cheerleaders for critiquing purposes. I did that for a little bit, and then it turned into like recording the cheerleaders for critiquing purposes. We ran into an issue and the issue was that we were uploading all the content into GroupMe so that all the cheerleaders can get access to it. But GroupMe only allowed me to upload videos that were 30 seconds or less. So if I recorded a video that was longer than 30 seconds, I would have to trim the video. And so because of that, we was like, you know what, let's find a different alternative. And the two options were Dropbox and YouTube. And back then in 2015, like 2016, it wasn't a such thing as like a YouTuber yet. That wasn't really a buzzword. So we were just uploading the videos to YouTube, copying the link and then pasting it into GroupMe, problem solved, right? And what we didn't know is that we were showing the videos to like random people all around the world, right? And so we started getting random views, maybe like a hundred views per video. Then we started getting like random comments, which kind of let us know that like this ain't family in France that's just watching these videos because they was talking junk. Like y'all suck, y'all ugly, y'all fat, this ain't cheerleading. And so we realized like, hey, this is going public to a lot of people, but we kind of like this. So we kept going with it and that's why Two Sides Productions was born. It wasn't like I had the dream to be a videographer. In reality, I feel like I suck. I don't think I'm good at videography at all. I have a lot to learn but it's just worked for us um and so that's how two size productions was born so i wasn't really motivated to start the channel 
if that answers your question, Jennifer, but great question. Okay, Twin, Twin Nation asked this question. What is cheer season and what is Two Socks Productions? Okay, so if you can see the logo behind me, both are on the wall, all right? So this is the cheer season logo and this is the Two Socks Productions logo. Two Socks Productions is the production company that films and produces strictly like stump and shake cheerleading content on YouTube. That's pretty much what we do. We don't do birthday parties, we don't do weddings, we don't do none of that. We used to try to do that stuff and I just, I don't like it. I personally don't like making videos for people and I don't like meeting other people's expectations and stuff. I like to just do my own thing and it work, all right? So we just focus on Stump and Shake cheerleading. We do a little all-star because of CUC, but they do have Stump and Shake too. So it's an exception and I, I like CUC because it's like an all black gym too, you know? And primarily Stump and Shake is like for the African American community. And I just felt like Stump and Shake didn't have like a platform or anything to be able to like display like their talents and stuff. And I wanted to be that. So that's why I continue on with this channel and I continue on with the business. So that's what Two Sauce Productions is, okay? Cheer season is more so of the event side of Stump and Shake cheerleading that we're getting more and more into. So last year we had an award show, the Cheer Season Gala Awards, which was amazing by the way. Like it was a great turnout, it was a beautiful, beautiful event. And we're actually gonna have a second one coming up March 29th, 2025. And I'd love to see you guys there. Subscribers, I'd love to see you there. I'd love to see cheer teams there. I'd love to see cheer coaches there. So if you're interested, it's in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you go to our Instagram page, it's cheer season, um, cheer.season, S-Z-N. If you go to that page, you'll see the flyer there and everything else that we're doing there. Um, we're also doing like a live stream every single Monday. Right at this desk, we have two amazing hosts. We have Kai and Brandy, who are currently our personal uh, media personalities for the live stream, but they go live and they talk about all cheer news and all updates regarding Stump and Shake cheerleading. So if you're interested in that, please make sure you tap in with Cheer Season. All right, so that's ultimately what it is and what I want more for Cheer Season. It's my second business. It was founded in 2023. And what I want more for us is for us to do uh, like competitions and showcases and camps and stuff like that for Stump and Shake cheerleaders as well. So we'll get into that eventually, but right now, we're just kind of leading things with the award show and the live shows. Shay Shay, uh, one of my favorite YouTube subscribers as well. Shay Shay asked, did I have to go through another company to start this YouTube channel or did I just create this channel myself? And the short answer is I just created my channel by myself. Uh, it's very easy to create a YouTube channel if you have a Google account or a Gmail account. You literally go to YouTube and click the, the top right button in the corner and then like it'll allow you to like the option to create a YouTube channel. So it's that simple. I didn't have to go through a channel or a company or anything to create this YouTube channel. Next question I have is for Constance. Constance asked, how do you make the videos look so good? Uh, I would just say just increasing like the equipment that we use. When I first started out, I was using like a $300 camera from Walmart and it got the job done, it just had horrible audio. Uh, so I had to learn that I needed like an external microphone and then like the camera would be shaky and the, the video would be a little shaky. So I'm like, okay, I need a stabilizer for stabilization. So I kept fixing problems basically and that's how we ended up here. So yes, the equipment costs a lot more now. The cameras that we use now are like $3,000 cameras and the lens that I currently use, me personally, is like a $3,000 lens our microphones are like $300 and our stabilizer is like $500. So uh, we just continue to increase like the products basically. And uh, we learned the camera more as we went through like filming and producing content. So that's how the videos look so good. And then we have people like DeMorris who does an amazing job at editing his videos and doing different unique transitions and just adding extra special effects to our videos for CUC. So if you want to see kind of like how talented DeMorris is, go watch some of those CUC videos and just see what he adds like to the videos and stuff. So we're on question six. We have 13 total questions. Just kind of letting you guys know what to expect, but we kind of breezing through these. Shay Shay asked, why are you and Mr. Girl not doing Vlogmas? And uh, so I just want to give you guys a little bit of context about this. So I have been dating someone for a while now 
And I haven't really been posting her on social media just because like I had a public relationship prior to this one. And like, it's just kind of annoying, you know, like when you've moved on in life in, in a certain way and people still kind of bringing up your past life or whatever. So I didn't, I wasn't ready for like my audience to be asking me about a whole nother person, right? Um, but I think it's time now to kind of introduce her to the world because, um, you know, we've been like communicating and stuff for quite some time now. And so a surprise for you guys is that we are actually going to be releasing like a vlog channel. All right. So we've been filming vlogs since January of this year, January of 2024. We've been filming vlogs. We have like almost 30 vlogs to release on a YouTube channel. So we're gonna create a completely different YouTube channel and it'll be our couples channel and you get to see all the videos from like January of this year all the way up till today. So you finally get to meet her, you finally get to learn who she is and why you know she means so much to me. And like, yeah. So um, if you're interested in that, you have to subscribe to my personal YouTube channel because that is where I'm going to put the link to our new channel at, all right? And I'm actually going to uh, drop that very, very soon. So subscribe to my personal YouTube channel, which is in the comment section. And then I'll let you guys know when we upload the videos on our vlog channel, all right? Zaniah asked, how do you deal with budgeting, traveling, etc., and scheduling issues? And I guess you're referring to like, <clears throat> with Two Socks Productions. And this is a very loaded question, but I really appreciate this question, Zanaya. Uh, budgeting, so for me, like if there's anything that I need for Two Socks Productions, I just buy it. I don't think about it. I don't like hesitate. If it's something that I know that I need, I go and I research it. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on it and then I pull the trigger. I just buy it. So that might be a bad thing. It might be a good thing. I don't really know, but um, if it's something that I know that I need for my business, I usually pull the trigger on it. Uh, as far as traveling, I'm very frugal and stuff, right? So like if a company books me for an event and say they like pay me $2,000 to come and film their cheer competition, right? Like I'm like, okay, well they gave me $2,000. They didn't buy the room. They didn't, they didn't book the room or anything. Okay, so how long do I want to stay there? How many nights do I want to stay there? Can I just come the day of and just leave? And if there is a window of opportunity for me to just come and leave, I do it. So I put a lot on myself to be able to save that income, uh, to not have that hotel. So when I went to Dallas, Texas, this, this was a prime example of that. You know, they had booked me in Dallas, Texas to film for the uh, T.S. Matt uh, cheer competition, the Hollaback cheer and dance competition in Dallas, Texas. And I literally got a round trip ticket the same day. So it's like the day of I went there and the day of I came back home that, that night. So I was very exhausted, but I'm like, why spend $200 on a room when I don't need to? So I'm very frugal in that way, most of the time. And scheduling issues, usually I don't run into schedule issues because I have team members now that I've hired that actually go and record things for me for specific teams. So that took a lot of weight off my shoulders in that area. Uh, so Demoris, he's with CUC pretty much with everything that they do. And if he can't make it, then I'll do it. But usually I'm like, I don't want to do it. So I just don't do it. Uh, and same with uh, Virginia Union University. Uh, Imani's out there doing a phenomenal job with them and she goes everywhere that they go. So if they have events, she goes. And if she can't make it, then I would if I you know, felt like it was like necessary to go. So, and for me, I record five star cheer and I record just cheer. And so, so far I haven't really ran into a schedule conflict. I think once with five star cheer, but it doesn't happen, happen often. But if I do run into that where it's an event on a day that I have something else to do, like a practice, I'll weigh it out and I'll say, okay, which one is more important or which one does my audience really want to see? And I'll go to that event instead. Anything dealing with my personal life, I just go and do that. I throw business off to the side. I don't care what it is. If my mama need me, I'm going to do whatever my mama need. And it don't matter. Like I'm my own boss with Two Sauce Productions. So that's how I go. What made you want to become a producer? I kind of answered this question a little earlier, uh, but I guess I'll expound on it a little bit more. Like obviously I kind of ran into YouTube. I didn't really go looking for it. But I did decide that I wanted to take it serious and actually conduct it as a business. 
in 2018, which was like two years after I was actually recording YouTube videos and posting them. So, um, but I just wanted to do that more so for like tax purposes and stuff. I actually got a package I need to get right now. Uh, yo, yo, hey, yeah, you signed that for me. Thank you. Uh, dang, I'm sorry, y'all. I was rolling. Damn, I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, I need that. And that is my uh, video roadcaster right there. But we had to sign for it, so I can't even. I'm looking at the box right now. I'm gonna have her come put it on the desk right now. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that's my roadcaster right there. This was an investment for the business. Like literally, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing around. Hey, let me get that. That box looking heavy, boy. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so look, I'm live, but I'm also recording too. But uh, can can you give it to me with the address folded down? Is it heavy? That works. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not done with my script, but I'm kind of trying to rock out. You could can you put it up here? Nah, you good. It's heavy. All right, all right, cool. Thank you so much. But yeah, this right here is an investment, y'all. This right here is an investment. This is an investment, y'all. I don't be playing. About that question about becoming a producer, I just, I just wanted to take the business serious. You know, I wanted it to be an actual business where I can hire people and pay taxes and stuff. And if I didn't do that, y'all, I wouldn't have been able to buy my house. You know, like you have to make your side hustle legitimate eventually. Jennifer asked, how did you come up with the cheer season logo? So I went to Fiverr and this is the logo right here. I went to Fiverr and I was like, hey, I need a logo. It's a cheer company and these are the details. And they came up with it. And I was like, it looks good. I approve. And I paid them for it. Last three questions. Shay Shay asked, how much do coaches pay you to record their teams? I don't know if people knew this or not. So this, I think, is my first time kind of discussing this. But when I record cheer teams that's on my YouTube channel that uh, are consistently on there, right? Like the Just Cheers, CUCs and stuff, none of those teams actually pay me anything. They don't pay me a brown cent to do it. Um, thankfully, YouTube pays me on the back end and I'm able to compensate my employees and also generate some sort of a profit as well on the back end from YouTube. So that's how it works. Uh, so all teams that's under contract, they don't pay me a dime, but you know, I'm able to still make it worth my while on the back end with YouTube. So hopefully that helps. And yes, I've been told, yeah, I should charge your teams to kind of record them and stuff like that. And maybe I will in the future, but uh, that's just kind of how it is right now. So yeah, it's probably interesting to y'all. Y'all didn't know that, but yeah, that's the truth. Okay, will more cheer teams be added? And who asked this question? Shay Shay asked this question. Will I add more cheer teams? And I don't think that I will, y'all. I don't think I will add more cheer teams, at least for right now. I'm kind of in a, a state of mind of where like, I kind of want to do something different. Like I've been doing this for almost 10 years now, for real, and like, it is, I'm just honestly tired of doing it, to be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm getting tired of doing it. So, um, you know, older, I'm in my 30s now. It's like, I'm in a different chapter. So I'm trying to like find my way through like what I want to do next and stuff. So as far as adding teams, I don't really see myself doing that. But if it makes sense, then yes, I probably will do it. Um, and I, yeah, I'm just paying attention to the numbers and all that stuff. Yeah, so I had certain nights, even last night, like I was kind of frustrated about like, you know, what I'm doing and how long I've been doing it and how effective it is or isn't. Um, and so I'm battling with myself right now personally, like right now on just this whole thing in general with Two Sides Productions. So yeah, just bear with me on that. But yeah, I don't think right now I'm gonna add no more teams until I figure out what I really wanna do. Second to last question, Tatiana asked this, are there any cheer teams you want to record if you could? <laughs> I like that question, it kinda goes with the the one I just answered, but. So there are some teams that's not really around me that I like saw and I'm like, it would be cool to like work with them. 
And that's cold blue, like the uh, Southern University cheer team, the Stump and Shake team out there. I like them a lot. Like, I like any team that I see that, like, treats their team as a business. I like to work with teams like that. I don't like to work with just cheer teams. Like, like they just cheerleaders or they're just cheer coaches. I don't like to work with teams like that. So when I see teams that actually conduct themselves like a business and they move a little differently, I like that type of stuff. And I think that is the type of stuff that's gonna take Stump and Shake cheerleading to the next level. I think as long as cheer teams are just cheer teams, we'll never be able to grow it as an industry, you know? Um, so yeah, but I like Southern University's Stump and Shake cheer team. Okay, last question. Shay Shay asked, do any brand deals or sponsors reach out to me? Yes, sometimes they do, but I never really respond to them because I'm like, is this spam? I really don't know if they like legitimate emails and stuff. So I never really open them. And I never really respond to them, which is why I don't never really see any sponsorships or brand deals. I'm actually thinking about getting like a company that actually goes and get brand deals for me and sponsorships for me. And I just give them like a percentage of the deal, like 20% or something. Um, but yeah, I feel more comfortable doing that. I'm just scared to lose access to my YouTube channel. I'm scared to like get hacked and stuff like that. So I don't really open emails and stuff that look like that. Yeah. So that's all the questions. If you guys had any other questions that you want to ask that I didn't answer, please just put them in the chat. I'll try to get to them when I see it. And biggest thing, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this channel and also on my personal YouTube channel, okay? I've been talking for a while, I need some water. Hope these updates were very informative for you. But let me know in the comments how it was for you. I will see you guys later. And that's it.